Hi. Okay. Hi, Nidia. Hi, Freddy. Hi. I really don't go out. Hi. How are you? Hi, teacher. Hello. Hi, Nidia. How was your Hello, day? Teacher. Hi, Freddy. How was your day, guys? I was very busy. Hello, I was teacher. talking with Freddy. Oh, really, Nidia? Uh, I have to work at home and... Right. But... Yes, but it's it's hard. Yeah. It's complicated. <laughs> it is. It is complicated, yes. yeah. All right. What about you, Freddy? Are you going to work or you're staying yes. home? I mean, working from home. No, I'm just in home and by the moment, I'm waiting to open again my work. Mm -hmm. My job, okay. sorry. Your job, all right, okay. All right, very good. Yeah. So when is, yeah. before we start, yeah. when is this I, thing? I, I uh -huh. in a backwards. Your what, excuse me? What did you say, Freddy? Oh, uh, that, it's because I work in a hardware, hardware, I work in a hardware store. Oh, okay. All right, yeah, and they are closed. Could you? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I know. All right. So, Nidia, are you going back anytime soon to like the office job or not really? No, um, I was going until a week ago. Ah, okay. And when the special quarantine mm -hmm. got enforced, I, I couldn't, I don't drive. No, okay. I am afraid to drive a car, right. so I couldn't go. Okay. They okay. Gave, gave me a special consideration. Oh, nice. I'm not going. Right. And uh, on Monday, uh -huh. I will begin my vacation. Oh, my goodness. So I, I will stay on vacation. Yes. Oh, okay. All right. Oh, but it works. So I, I, I have to take back action. Right. Okay. Oh, okay. All right. Yes, it's good for me. Yeah, very good. Anidia, you yes, live in San Salvador? I, I was so ashamed that I couldn't, I can't go to work. Right. Yeah, I understand. Excuse me? Do you live here in San Salvador? Yes. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. Yes. Yes, I live here near La Cima. Okay. All right. Okay. But uh, I, yes, yes. Okay. All right. Well, very good. All right. Very good. Hi, Manuel. Hi. Hello, guys. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hi, Manuel. How are you? Hello. Hi. Hi. I'm fine. Thank you. And you? Excellent. I'm okay. I'm okay at home. <laughs> Right, uh -huh. keeping with you the quarantine. With me. <laughs> yeah, I know. All right. And what about Astrid? Astrid? Yes, you stay at home. Yeah, right now because all my job is education, and all like the university I work for is closed, so I can't go teach. <laughs> right. Okay. Let's see. Astrid, how are you today? Asif, can you hear me? I think I'm not. Hi, fine, I'm fine. Yeah, all right, very good. Okay, I think I'm having a little yes. bit of problem with the internet connection, it seems. Or is it me? I don't know if it's me. Can you hear me okay, everybody? No. Yeah? By the moment, yes. By the moment, Maybe. okay, okay. Let me know if anything. It's kind of like break. Yeah, it's like that. That's how I feel it today. Mm. Anyway, we'll try to it's do our raining. best. No, it's not yes. raining today, but... I don't know, sometimes internet is internet. <laughs> All right, guys, so welcome. We're gonna talk, today is the last class of this third week. All right, so we have one more week and we finished. All right, I think the month went out flying. All right, it went by really, really quick. I don't know, guys, yes. have, you, have you got the information to enroll for TOEFL 3 already? Not yet, teacher. Yes. Ah, okay. Nidia, yes. Astrid, yes. No, not yet. Ah, not yet. Ah, okay. And what about Manuel and Freddy? Have you gotten any email? Already? No, no, not yet. Because okay. 
No, no, yes. Okay, no, yes. Anidia needs. And the email for. I think it's in the in the WhatsApp group. Job. Uh, talk about about the course. Uh huh. Hi. Okay. No, in in comment the that I send the the image for my job mm -hmm. for the department. Right. Uh, about talking about the the. The the form the fill the form but right. I don't have any 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 request. Oh, okay. Well, uh, Nidia, they send it to the WhatsApp group, right, Nidia? Yes, yes. Uh -huh. They send the information about like getting enrolled and everything. In well, May, May twelfth. Mm -hmm. Right. It, it, yes, they send it this week, right, on Monday or Tuesday. Yeah. Yeah. Tuesday. Okay. No. Tuesday, right? Yes, Tuesday. Tuesday, yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, guys, make sure that you check that information. I hope you guys all enroll for TOEFL 3, all right? So you guys keep on studying, and, and I mean, uh, that would be very good for you to keep on doing it, all right? So whenever you get that information, and if you want to keep on studying it, make sure that you send all the paperwork so you enroll fast because I think the idea is not to wait so long, all right? It's going to be like a very short uh, wait, so that would be very good, all right? So in case you do want to like keep on participating and everything on TOEFL 3, make sure that as soon as you get all the paperwork, you send it back to Inglés Corporativo so they enroll you back on the, um, on the following course, okay? Hi, Maribel. All right, guys, very good. So let's see. Today, we're going to keep on talking. About, Hi, good evening. Hi. We're going to keep on talking about integrated question six, okay? And uh, this is the last type of question that we're going to study this week because this week we finished with the speaking section. Next week, we're going to do writing, all right? So, but don't worry about next week. Let's concentrate on today. Again, I just want to clarify and I just want to make sure that you guys understand Question six is really related to question five, all right? We're going to do an activity pretty much the same as we did yesterday, all right? So I'm not gonna go over like, well, well I'm gonna go over really briefly on how these questions are structured, but they are structured the same way they, um, the question five is uh, structured, all right? So it's the same way. We don't do reading on this one. We only do listening, all right? A conversation or a lecture, all right? And then you have 20 seconds to prepare, and then you would have 60 seconds to answer, all right? Again, because we're going to work on it like similar to what we did, well, yeah, similar to what we did yesterday. I have the presentation, which I don't know if you got it already. Yeah. Yeah, all right. Yeah, you got it. I already sent it to the WhatsApp group, the, uh, the uh, presentation okay. for this for tonight, okay? So I'm going to show it to you, but before we do that, I just want to quickly show you this, just to, um, just to remind you what this is about. I mean, what you guys should like take into account when you're giving your responses, all right? So here, this is like very, very important. Again, this is on the platform. If you continue um, TOEFL 3 with me, we will go deeply into like, um, like preparation activities and a lot of like practices mm -hmm. just to make sure that you have enough uh, tools when you go and take your TOEFL test, okay? So if you continue with me on TOEFL 3, we're going to do a lot of practices, practices, practices based on this that we already saw, all right? So you can approach these questions better, the speaking, the listening, the writing and everything, all right? But right now, let's concentrate on this. Approach tips, this is like very important. While you're listening here, because you're practicing, you may take notes while you're listening, all right? Write down keywords or ideas. Review your review notes as you prepare your response, all right? So in this case, because we're practicing, as you listen, you may take notes. And on, the, on those 20 seconds, you may check your notes that you took, okay? 
Again, uh, it's very important when you're speaking, and that's why it's really, really important for you guys to record your responses. Make sure that you don't repeat yourself. As in like, you already said something and then you say it again, and then again, all right? Sometimes we say the same thing three times, all right? Just to fill time. Don't do that, all right? Uh, you need to say like say things to clarify, develop and elaborate. You have to be like very like you have to elaborate your answers like nicely, and then again practice timing yourselves. Yesterday, Freddy was asking me on the WhatsApp group, uh, and he asked me, "Teacher, do we need to send you the homework from last night?" And I said, "No, you don't have to, but in case you want to, all right. And maybe like if you want to, you want to send them to me. Fine, I'll listen to them. All right." If you don't want to send them, but if you want to keep on practicing, that's the idea. All right. That's why I said yesterday, and I'll say it again today. That is the reason why I send my PPTs to you. All right. So you are the owner of it. That, that, what I do is for you. All right. For you to practice. Okay. All right. Very good. Stop talking here. And this, you already have it. I know because I already send it. Just give me a second. Oops, this is stuck. Um, this is what we're talking about today. And this is what I want you to think about. Again, we're going to go to our groups. We're going to, together with Freddy, we're going to listen to the conversation or the lecture. And this is what we're going to follow today. This is the integrated question six. These are the same listenings that we already did. So they are not new, totally new for you because we already listened to them. All right. So what I want you to do is Play the audio as soon as you have, as soon as you get into your group, play the audio program, all right? Listen to it. But this is what I want you, what I want you to do. I want you to listen to it first, okay? The first time. Then I want you to see this, the, the questions, okay? The, the, I made them based on the listening, okay? To help you get to the real points, all right? To read this I want you to go back and listen again so I want you to follow me here all right yesterday it was how you wanted to all right but today I want you to listen first the first time then I want you to see these questions and then I want you to listen again to get these answers all right and to feel comfortable with what's going on here. And then again, if I'm working with Freddy, we discuss, okay, Freddy, what was the topic? Ah, the topic was about the universe, okay? So, uh, the, and then we go on with number two, number three, number four, in order for us. And then I want you to write it, guys, please. I want you to take notes with this, all right? Because it will help you to like have a better response or make a better response, all right? So I want you to work on number two, number three, number four. Then when you finish, you discuss and say, okay, I think we have it right, okay? And listen to it. If you need to listen to it more than like two times, do it. Now, what I want you to do is to get practice and to like to develop your listening skills, all right? And if you need to, if you didn't get the answer for number three, I want, it says, for example, describe what happens in each place. Oh, Saida is with me right now. Saidita, are you here? Yeah. All right. Saida, I'm going to go to your group because I want you to work with this one. I want you, all right, with, together with everybody. I want, for example, if I'm working with Nidia, all right? So Nidia, we're going to discuss, okay, so what are the two places where they could actually possibly meet? Ah, for example, eh, I don't know, the restaurant and the house. Okay, very good. So now I mm. want you to describe what happens in the house and what happens in the restaurant so you guys understand what's really going on of course in this conversation they did not mention restaurant and they did not mention house i'm just giving you an example all right what i want you to get details all right what happened in each place all right this that's the, the description of the problem and then what do you prefer and explain why but that, that's after you have done everything else all right and then you will go on with number two listen to it first then you do the questions after that you may listen to it as many times as you want to in order for you and your classmate to get the right information here the same thing you're going to do with number three, and then you have its own questions with number four, all right? And you have its own questions 
Number five, they, it has no questions because I want you to think about what would the questions be, all right? So no crean que lo dejé en blanco porque no me alcanzó el tiempo, lo hago a propósito, all right? And then we have the last one, and then here, nothing, because I want you, what are the questions that came, like, that we can, like, be asked about? So we get to the right information in order for us to be, to have or to give a better response, okay? Do you guys understand the idea of this practice right now, yeah? Yes. Yes, yes excellent. Okay, so let's just stop sharing. You have the presentation on the WhatsApp group, it's there, all right? La idea es, eh, yo creo que todos pueden compartir pantalla una vez están en su grupo, ¿verdad que sí? Sí. Ok, cuando estén ahí, por ejemplo, si yo estoy trabajando otra vez con Freddy, Freddy va a compartir su pantalla. Dentro de los tres puntitos arriba donde dice compartir pantalla, váyase ahí, despliegue, y hay una pestaña donde dice compartir sonido de la computadora para que todos puedan escuchar bien, que es lo que yo hago cuando yo comparto los audios con ustedes. Porque si yo solo pongo el audio desde mi compu y no comparto el sonido con usted, yo o Freddy en este caso, ya como que estamos por la unión, All right? y no escuchamos bien, y el listening es súper importante. Cuando usted tome el TOEFL, los speakers son como que va a ser una disco lo que va a oír, ¿verdad? Porque necesitan que el audio sea súper claro. All right? Okay. So, let's go here. We're going to go to the groups right now. Todos entienden what we're going to be working on right now, right? Yes? Yeah, yes. guys? Okay, yes. very good. Okay, just making sure. Si en caso no me llama, yo voy a estar monitoreando por ahí. All right, we have, oops. There you go. Va a haber un grupo de tres porque tenemos um, odd number right now. So Freddy, Roberto, and Saida working together, Nidia and Maribel working together, and Asil and Manuel working together. Hi, Evelyn. Hi, teacher. Hi, I'm how... having some trouble Hi. with my connection. Okay. okay. All right, don't worry about it, Evelyn. I'm going to send you right now to one group, okay? Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, Freddy. Are you there? The invitation. Evelyn and Freddy, did you get the invitation?
uh, side up, would you how about describing what happens in each place? Uh, describing the problem. Okay. Yes, I did that for you. That's for you, Saidita. I want Saidita to work on this one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. For the study rooms, it's a, a quiet place. Um, at the beginning, he said that can go for the coffee. I I wrote the choose the better place to end the project. Okay. Mm. And the number two is the two possible places. We have to decide where which are the places. No, but two, two possible places to meet to meet. I think in my case, I think at the Studio Union and at Book Fair. Mm -mm. Teacher, no. A study Union, yes. That's one of the places. What's the other place? The study room in the yeah. library? That's right. Very good. The study room in the, at the library or the, the student room. union, right? So you have two. And then she also mentions the cafeteria, right? But that's after. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, okay. okay, you got those two. Very good. So what would be, uh, what's the other question? I don't have it here. What's the question? Describe what happens right. in, in, each, each place. in each place. Okay, so what's going on or why they don't decide if to go to the study room at the library mm -hmm. and why they or what's going on on the student union. That's what I want you guys girls to like get to. All right. I know you will do it fine. Okay, That's thank you. Idea. Very good. Good. Teacher, teacher, teacher. Yes, yes, I have I've I've listened, I've listened uh, many times, but yeah. I don't understand. And when they when he he uh -huh. he is talking about the studio union, is uh, I understand that uh, publishes some book. Yeah, some book right. will be so, said it. I don't understand. Uh -huh. Okay, I so don't that's understand. <laughs> so I need you. I need you to explain the best. Okay. Because, oh oh right. my God! You know, but, but you know what? Me pongo nerviosa porque no entiendo eso. Entiende. All right, uh -huh. Maribel. Pero sabe qué? Ahí está. Ahí está describing the uh -huh. problem at the uh, student union. Algo va a pasar ahí. Y eso es lo que usted ya escuchó. All right, let's play it again, uh, Maribel, and you will see what the problem is. At the student union, they don't want to go. Maybe sell, sell book. Because there is a book fair going on. There's going to be a book fair, um, Maribel. Ah, uh, on the afternoon. Uh -huh. uh, is, uh, Maribel, can you stop sharing? Book I will... fair. Yeah, Maribel, can you stop sharing? I will share my screen just a little bit, please. Maribel. Maribel. Okay. <laughs> okay. A ver, Mari. Yo creo que okay, ya estoy compartiendo yo, right? Yeah, yeah. Stop sharing. Ya, ya, ya estuvo, Mari. I already did. This will stop others sharing. Do you want to continue? No, no, no. I'm here. Okay. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. Maribel, ya, ya, ya. Uy. Ya. Uy. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. So, Maribel, listen to this, and I want you to, eh, yeah? Uh-huh. <laughs> All right, very good. Maribel, let's listen together. Y donde yo le diga allí, <clears throat> there is uh, donde the, the begins the problem, okay? With the student union, okay? Yeah, Mari. Vamos a ver. A ver, let's listen. Maribel, ahí está. Uh-huh. Bye. <laughs> student Union. Okay, Listen to a conversation a between two students. The name is Student I think we should meet early to finalize yes. our presentation. What do you think? Yeah, I think you're right. I'm free on Monday at 2. Yeah, that's good for me. Do you want me to book a study room at the library again? Hmm, I don't know. It's a nice, quiet place to get work done, but I kind of like to drink coffee while we work. Ah, okay, so I, there she mentioned the problem with the study room at the library. What is the problem at the study room? Nidia and Maribel? 
What is the problem with the study room? That she likes to drink coffee. That's right. And that she can That the girl likes to... And she can because it is forbidden in the Excellent. In the okay, library. that's the problem from the first place. The study room at the yeah. library, she doesn't want to because she likes to drink coffee. And she's not allowed to drink coffee at the study room at the library, it's okay? It's Very okay. good. Excuse me, Maribel? Uh -huh. that's that's, true. That is one problem, no. yes, Maribel? No, that's true. I have it, I have, yes, I have that, that answer, but I don't understand that studio, study, yeah. ahí vamos, studio ahí vamos. Union. Ahí, ahorita vamos, Maribel, ahorita, ahorita, ahorita vamos. Vamos a llegar por ahí. Um, <laughs> Llegamos ahorita, espérenme. Since they don't allow drinks in the study rooms, what do you think of just meeting at the student union? Um, I think there's something going on at the union Monday afternoon. What was it? Ah, you're right. They're having some sort of book fair. Ah, so Monday afternoon, where they want to meet, there's something going on at the student union. A book fair. Yes, Maribel? But what's the meaning of book fair? Ah, a book fair. I don't listen, understand. Yeah, uh -huh. Let's listen. Let's listen a little bit more. Yeah, that's it. Lots of publishers are going to be setting up displays and everything. Lots of publishers are going to be setting up and everything. A book fair, Maribel, is like um, a big event. Sell. Yeah, a big event where people come and sell books. Uh -huh. All right. Yeah. So there's going to be a lot of people and a lot of noise and everything. So it's not a very good place that at the moment because it's going to be very noisy. Yes? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'd really like to go to that. Me too. Okay. But what and they want cool. to go to the book fair too. So now they have another problem that they want to study, but they want to go to the book fair. All right. Yes, Maribel. What about our project? Okay, Monday yeah. Is really, the last mm -hmm. day we can work so on. The other problem at the, stu at the studio union is because they are uh, on the uh, Monday on the uh huh. It's gonna be very noisy. Mo Sunday or uh, Monday? Monday, 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 Mo Monday afternoon. Mm -hmm. They will be sell. Uh, they will be selling. They will be selling uh -huh, books. Will be selling books. Uh -huh, yeah. Okay. Okay. That's okay. the problem. All right. And also, but the they use. Uh huh. Okay. But they use the verse setting. Will setting. be setting. Yeah. They will uh -huh. be setting. Set. It. Set. The set. The colocar. Set. Uh huh. Set it. Setting. 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 Uh huh. Ah, they will setting be setting. With ing. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, very good. Yes, Maribel. Now you understand? Now you have the other question, right? So now you say, describe what happens in each place. Ya lo describimos. En uno, in the, the study room, they cannot drink coffee. And she wants to drink coffee, but it's forbidden, as Nidia said. And the place, the student union, there is a book fair. And a lot of publishers and a lot of people, so it's a very noisy. They won't be able to concentrate. Plus, they want to go to the book fair too. All right. So now, between you and and Nidia, you need to decide based on these two places: a study room, a study union. Where would you like to study? Yeah, that's the that's the question. In this case, that would be question four because. When you give the response, you, ha you have to say, okay, you have to describe the problem, all right? So this is what, why do I make it like on these steps? Because when you begin your response, you have to say, okay, they are talking about, uh, they are needing to work on a project before they hand it in to the professor. And they are talking about meeting in two possible places. One of the places is at the library, study room or the other places at the student union. However, there is a, a book fair going on at the student union, so it's going to be noisy. And on the other hand, at the study room at the library, they cannot drink coffee. 
take that, taking all that into consideration, I would prefer to study at the library, although I won't be able to drink coffee. And then that's it, one minute, that's it. Pero si se fija, Maribel y Anidia, pasan por las cuatro preguntas en un solo, en una sola respuesta, que le dura un minuto, ¿ya? ¿Cómo llegamos hasta ahí? Comprendiendo realmente todo lo que pasa en la plática, en este caso. Por eso son esas cuatro preguntas, porque de ahí, o puntos, porque de ahí sacamos una sola respuesta y la vamos uniendo con, con todo lo que sea necesario, ¿no? Con connectors, con palabras de conexión, con decir, bueno, entonces yo preferiría, porque al final están preguntando, why would you prefer that? ¿Verdad? Y le dice, ¿por qué? Bueno, uh -huh. porque a pesar de que no voy a tomar café, pero me voy a concentrar mejor y me urge terminar el proyecto o el, el, la tarea. ¿Ya? Entonces, ¿por qué las estoy llevando a esto? Porque al primero se lanza así, como que bueno, a, a, a ver si nadamos, ¿verdad? Nadamos, flotamos un poquito, ok, ahora les doy la tablita para que pataleen, ¿ya? Que son estas cuatro preguntas okay. y así desglosar cada una. Para que cuando usted ya llegue uh -huh. a su TOEFL, si lo va a tomar o si ya sigue estudiando y todo eso, usted ya puede elaborar una respuesta como más completa tomando estos cuatro puntos en este caso. ¿Por qué las últimas dos yo no les pongo nada? Porque en las primeras tres o cuatro yo les doy como la, lo importante de cada conversación o de cada lecture. Quiero ver si usted llega a entender los cuatro o tres puntos importantes de estas dos últimas que la teacher no nos puso nada. Quiero que ustedes se analicen y digan, ¿qué, ¿qué estoy buscando aquí? ¿Qué tengo que buscar para dar una respuesta adecuada? ¿Ya? That's the whole point of this. Yes, Nidia and Maribel? Yes. All right, very good. Thank you. Yeah. Very good. Thank you. Con la otra. Nice. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Okay, share again, please, Maribel. Never been very good at sports. Dreaded going to my high school gym class and playing basketball. Well, that's a good point in favor of keeping the physical education courses. Currently, the department's able to offer classes in lots of different sports. The variety of classes offers something for everyone. If the requirements are dropped, those classes will be cut. And that hurts people like you who aren't good at competitive sports like basketball, but who could benefit from something non-competitive like aerobics. I must admit that I'm out of shape, but I still don't think it's the university's job to make me fit. But you probably won't take on the responsibility of getting into shape. And think of all the money that's already been spent on sports.
that the, the university have to priority in other activities on or other facili facilities like a library, etc. Et and the man is the, the woman is agree with the change. I I understood that a girl uh, where doesn't agree where agree where doesn't agree is agree because girl. she say that no no I understood that she know uh -huh. because she said that she never was good in sports. Mm -hmm. But and you, Mama? but I am not sure. Hi, Manuel. Manuelito, Manuelito, hi. Manuel. Hi, hi. In, in for the case for the woman, the woman doesn't like any sports for yeah. that reason. Is that agree for the change the class? Mm. But the men is not agree change the class because it's in, it's important for for his. Uh, guys, I'm sorry. Just uh, to clarify, when you use the word the word agree, you say she doesn't agree or she agrees, but you don't say she is agree or she isn't agree. She doesn't or she agrees. Okay, just make sure she remember that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's like in Spanish, we okay. say, like, estoy de acuerdo, por eso hacemos esa, esa translation, but it's not. All right. She Me doesn't call. agree, or she, <laughs> okay. she doesn't agree. Okay. She agrees, she agrees, Manuel. She doesn't she agree, agrees. she, yes, agrees. Yes, she agrees. agrees. That's right, yeah. sí, porque es tercera persona singular. She agrees, y no lo confugo con el verbo mm -hmm. de All right. Usted no dice, I am agree. Dice, I agree. Um, yeah? Yes, okay. All right. Yeah. Okay, and for her is doesn't like doesn't like the 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 physical education in any sport because he doesn't practice any sport and for his is important uh, physical education and doesn't doesn't agree change the, the class is okay okay mm -hmm. okay the reason for me is for her is very bad for for practice any any sport yes mm -hmm. you are agree <laughs> you are agree you agree and for him yeah. uh, like the explore yes. and is the is the is the important is the important sport it the same Okay. Okay. First of all, we will have to state the topic. I think that the topic will be how gods, how, sorry, how goats uh, modify the environment. Uh, Freddy, or, do this one. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so in sorry, this topic, <laughs> <some> more prepared. <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> okay. Sorry, Robert, I'm sorry, I, I'll leave. <laughs> Go ahead, go ahead, pretty. Uh, well, <laughs> four. Listen to a conversation between two students. I hope they drop the physical education course for soon so that I don't have to take any of those classes. Do you? Personally, I think the decision's a mistake. Really? Why? I mean, well, I guess the president's right about some students not wanting to take them, but 
lots of different studies have shown that being physically fit helps people to concentrate better. But really, students should take on responsibility for their own health, don't you think? I mean, they don't need an authority to force them. They should, but they don't. Students frequently get wrapped up in their studies to the detriment of their physical health. Many I've talked to say that they resent having to sign up for the courses, but when they are in the class, they find it stimulating and a good mental break from sitting in the library. Well, they're probably sports-minded. A lot of students, like me for instance, I've never been very good at sports. I absolutely dreaded going to my high school gym class and playing basketball. Well, that's a good point in favor of keeping the physical education courses. Currently, the department's able to offer classes in lots of different sports. The variety of classes offers something for everyone. If the requirements are dropped, those classes will be cut. And that hurts people like you who aren't good at competitive sports like basketball, but who could benefit from something non-competitive like aerobics. I must admit that I'm out of shape, but I still don't think it's the university's job to make me fit. But you probably won't take on the responsibility of getting into shape. And think of all the money that's already been spent on sports equipment and facilities. The equipment will go to waste or break and not get replaced. I think this is a very sad commentary on our university's priorities. There's nothing wrong with putting library facilities and labs at the top of the priority list. Well, that's true, but I'm still disappointed in this decision. The man expresses his opinion about the changes in the physical education requirements for students. State his opinion and explain the reasons he gives for that opinion. No. Lydia? Hola. Hi. <laughs> Hi, teacher is just saying that we were study, we were listening uh, uh, yesterday. No, 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 it's okay. similar. It's similar. similar. It's like that. It's like the uh, con let's say the continuation of the uh, of the yesterday's um, conversation. They relate. Ah, okay. Hmm? Okay. Okay. <laughs> so. <laughs> So, and you tell me, and you tell Lydia, what's going on for those ones? <laughs> I, I was lost in <laughs> Yeah, you were lost. No, Maribel, that's not possible. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, because I, I thought that it, it, it was the same like yesterday. No, no, no. Ah. These are the same um, listenings that we did on Tuesday. All right, but now with the uh, the questions and the things that are supposed to help you, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Okay, I think the topic is they're um, discussing about the decision of the university right. to close the physical education programs. Right. Mm -hmm. um, she thinks that it's a good decision because she doesn't like right. to, to, she think lost the time in that kind of subjects when okay. she has uh, more important subjects mm -hmm. than mm -hmm. her majors. Right. Mm -hmm. And he thinks uh, that it's a, a bad decision to close the programs because the students uh, don't have uh, enough uh, care of their own Health. physical condition. Right. Um, moreover, it will imply uh, uh, a loss for the university mm -hmm. because of the 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 invest that they have the done investment the investment the investment uh -huh. yes that they have done right in the facilities for uh, physical education right mm -hmm. very good well done nadia very good nice thank you all right maribel my advice to you is que usted se case con estos audios y los oiga mil veces maribel <laughs> 
¿verdad? Para que usted se sienta cómoda. A ver, ¿Se acuerda? Ayer hablamos de eso, ¿verdad? Hay mucho vocabulario. Por ejemplo, ella usa una palabra que dice, I was dread about it. Dread, la palabra dread el, me daba pavor, me daba miedo. Uno está acostumbrada a escuchar scared or fear, ¿verdad? Pero de repente dicen dread y usted dice, ¿el qué? Dread es otro sinónimo, ¿verdad? Entonces hay muchas palabras, obviamente, que we don't know. That's the important thing that we should do. ¿Sabe qué? Le voy a comentar rapidito. Cuando yo aprendí inglés, eh, yo me ponía, no había ni, ni computadoras por entonces, de verdad. Eh, yo me ponía a oír las canciones y las oí y las copiaba. Obviamente mal, mal spelling porque no sabía cómo se escribían bien, perfectamente. Entonces lo que yo hacía era como, lo escribía mal, pero digamos que más o menos por ahí iba como lo oía. Luego lo buscaba en diccionarios, no, no había Google para entonces. Entonces en el diccionario de papel. Entonces, obviamente me tardaba más, pero quizás uno aprendía más así, ¿verdad? Porque era doble trabajo, o el trabajo era más tenso, ¿verdad? Más intenso. Entonces, yo lo que hacía era como buscar cada palabra, Maribel, para entenderlo, no para traducirlo, sino que para ir entendiendo esas palabras. Y de repente ya, una vez escrita, ya, ya encontraba la, la escritura correcta, volví a escuchar la canción y decía, ah, ok. Entonces, por eso dijo esto, o eso dijo. Y eso hacía todas mis tardes, ¿se imagina? Y era, sí. pero yo creo que eso me ayudó mucho. Entonces yo oía, pausaba, oía, pausaba, escribía y ahí iba investigando las palabras, ¿verdad? Entonces, eh, pues a mí me funcionó, ¿verdad? Sí. Entonces tal vez ahí tiene el audio que dura un minuto, ¿verdad? Por decir algo, usted trate de escucharlo. Si gusta, ¿sabe qué puedo hacer? Le puedo mandar el, el script para que Ajá. usted vaya leyendo y lo vaya escuchando. Y cuando encuentre, se tope con una palabra que nunca había escuchado, subrayela y escríbala diez veces, haga planas. Y luego usted conjúguelo, ¿verdad? La idea aquí, Maribel, es que usted se meta de lleno a esto para que usted le encuentre más sabor. Obviamente usted ya lo habla, pero hay que, hay que pulirlo un poco más, ¿verdad? Entonces sí. eso voy a hacer. Solo que se lo prometo para el fin de semana, oye, eso de los scripts. Ah, okay, because I told to my to to my cousin uh -huh. uh, for the for the for the homework you uh -huh. you <laughs> ah, yes, yeah, ah, I did that. <laughs> I did that. Uh -huh. yeah, All right, yeah, yeah. Okay, good. thank you. Yes, very good. Right, very good. Y estamos ya solo una semana, mis niñas, de terminar. Very fast. How, uh, Nidia, you took TOEFL one, or this was yes. the first one? Ah, okay. All right. Very yes. Good. All right, okay. Have you felt okay in this course with me? Yes, I, I have felt better. The first okay. thing I felt uh, it was like theory or just explanation what TOEFL was. Okay. TOEFL is, but is more, it has more practice. Right, okay. Yes. And if I teach TOEFL 3 for you girls, it's going to be even more practices. All right, and, and maybe a little bit of homework because there are many, many things that I need to like I want to give you so you guys feel more comfortable with the, the course and with the uh, with everything, right? So let's see if I'm assigned top of three. Okay. Okay. Uh, very sure. good. Okay, girls, it's time to go. I have the other class. Again, the PPT is yours. If you want to keep on practicing, following those, I think it helps a little bit more. All right. Okay. Thank, thank you. you. Thank good you. Night. All right, guys, welcome back. Uh, because of time, I need to go right now because I have the other class. Uh, again, the present you have the presentations in case you were not able to finish, which probably you didn't, it's okay. They are yours, listen to them, follow those three or four or five, um, let's say questions that are there on after the, the listenings, they will help you get better answers, okay? If you want to, you can send me your responses. Now that you have the information, try to record yourselves and giving like to give me a response on that listening, all right? And I'm, I'll be more than glad to check it, all right? In case you want to do it that way. If not, you want to do it yourself. Again, I mean, the idea is for you to do it somehow, okay? So guys, we don't have class tomorrow. So that means that you need to work on your platform. Remember, that the exercise that are on the platform, esos sí son obligatorios que me los mande. 
All right? Porque ahí en la plataforma no son asignados, no hay nadie que le asigne porque obviamente es speaking. All right? Entonces, you have to send it to me, ya sea a través de vocaroo.com or, y me manda el link a, siempre al WhatsApp o me manda una voice note, como le salga mejor. Tiene hasta el domingo. ¿Verdad? Eso sí, tiene hasta el domingo para mandarme esas. Esos son mandatory. Yo voy a estar ahí oyendo. Voy a ir al super mañana oyendo. Or... <laughs> eh, through the WhatsApp, it's okay. You can send it through WhatsApp, the WhatsApp group. All right. Mañana voy a ir al super, así que me tardo como mil horas para entrar. Así que mándemelo yo, gladly listening to everybody. All right. Okay. <laughs> Guys, have a great weekend. I'll see you Monday. You. Monday, we start with it. writing, okay? No more speaking. Okay. Pero los, exam los, los ejercicios de la platform, please do. Okay? Have a great okay. weekend, guys. Bye. Okay. Be safe. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.